Well, hey guys, what's up? It's uh, Casey here. Thank you so much for checking out my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are doing wonderful. I'm doing really great, and I want to go ahead and get right into the video. And I hope you guys are doing good, and thank you for coming back to my YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for the subscribers, 185 subscribers. Wow, that is amazing. You guys are awesome. And I want to just come on here and get right into the video, and I want to talk about the job description for full-time store associate for Aldi. And I want to, I deleted some of them, but I want to go over the main um, duties and responsibilities that I see at my store when I'm working for Aldi. And I want to also go over the job qualifications and fiscal demands. And mostly they're all of them, but I deleted some of them because they don't really interpret what you guys do. But it's, it's something to keep in mind. Um, but the main things are the most important things we're going to talk about. The first thing is the do's and responsibilities. And so the first thing is to assist management in achieving store appearance and maintenance standards. So what does that mean? Um, so basically you are achieving the store appearance. So it's keeping the store looking clean, making the sales floor looking nice. Um, always making the appearance to customers to, to maximize sales pretty much. And if you see any snacks and anything that um, that anything that requires maintenance, communicate that to a manager and we'll get somebody out there to fix it. So if you see anything that needs attention, be willing to do so. Um, identifies and re recidifies hazards and or equipment and needs a maintenance to provide a safe environment. Same thing. Um, if you see anything that's hazardous or anything that any equipment that needs to be on repair, that's out of our control, contact the management and we'll take care of it. Um, assist customers. This is a big plus. Um, this is one, a big one. Um, ability to cut ability to assist customers with the problems or concerns, or contact manager as appropriate regarding customers with problems or concerns, or concerns. So basically, um, if a customer comes to me and say, "Hey, um, I had this problem," blah blah blah, but if you guys don't know the answer, don't answer right away. Um, call a manager immediately and they will definitely come up there if like if you're on my shift and you don't know the answer to uh, help a customer's concerns or problems always contact a manager but if you know the answer to it don't don't call a manager up there I, I'm telling you you're wasting our time uh, and we're not there to, it's not there to be mean it's just saying don't waste our time if you can answer your questions or solve a customer's problem then by all means do so don't call a manager out there because we might be busy doing other things guys as being a manager there's more responsibilities than what than you think we're doing so please understand that if you can but if you call a manager if necessary um provides feedback to management all products inventory losses scanner errors and journal issues that could impact productivity now there are days where you're going to have problems and you got to understand that these are key and you guys got to understand you're going to have problems at working at that day is where the, the register two is not working or the electrical jack is not working. So make sure you con uh, communicate that to all products or anything that brings your attention to your your manager on duty. And you guys will definitely be better at being productive so we can get a fix right away. So it helps keep maximize and impact productivity and keeps us efficient as possible as well. Uh, process customer purchases, performs general cleaning duties, and soft shells and displays and release to maximize visibility and sales. That's just everyday thing, guys. Um, you got to be willing to run the register. That's what that basically saying, process customer purchases. So you're going to be running the register. It's multitasking. You're going to be multitasking. That We'll go later on that, but you're going to be multitasking. Um, performs journal cleaning duties so you might be scrubbing throughout the day, uh, scrubbing throughout produce throughout the day or you might be sweeping the sales floor to keep the sales floor looking nice because uh, it you can people want a clean store customers come into a want to come into a clean store and they want to make it look right really really nice so you want to make sure you do that and also stock shelves and and this shelves neatly now don't just throw stuff on the shelf but keep it neat and organized and that will help maximize sales and it, it will really well because working for one of the busiest stores we try to keep our stores and try to keep our shelves neatly and maximize to create more sales for our store and so for our stores so understand that um my participation is uh taking store inventory counseling corn to guidelines now that's not all the time but every few months or so a store manager has to this your direct leader has to do an inventory and you always want to have a good inventory in your store and so you, your manager might your own duty might has to do some inventory but he might he or she might put you in responsible accounting um the meat 
So you might need to be responsible for that. So always having a good inventory is always key in your store because it helps know what the system knows, what how much you're generating sales, um, what product on hand, and all this stuff, and what you're selling. So it really does help. But it's not all the time you're going to be doing that. It's not a big plus, but it's something that you keep in mind. Um, complies with all staff, just companies, and policies and procedures. Of course, you will learn that as time goes on when you get hired. I'm not going to go into details of the policies and procedures, but you will learn those as time goes on. Okay. Um, you're also going to be collaborate with team members and communicate relevant information to direct leader. That is what I'm trying to tell you guys. I cannot emphasize this enough and stress to you that communication is key and you've got to learn to multitask. Communication and multitasking are the main keys for worker quality and you've got to learn to multitask because that's going to help you. Also, you're going to be uphold security and confidentiality of documents and data within the area of responsibility. Whatever is in that office, it doesn't matter is sales, uh, sales pace, whatever you're at, that is none of a customer's uh, anything out in public uh, or a customer that can hear it. You guys got to understand that is important information. I cannot even tell you right here, right now, how much my store makes, but I could tell we're one of the busiest stores in the division, and I can't tell you how much we make. We we make a lot of sales, and I want you guys to understand whatever's in that office, it stays within the office and. Because that is confidential and that once you guys understand that, that's why it is so important to keep that information to yourself and within your managers and with everybody else. Because whatever's in that office or whatever's said in the office, you keep it in the office and you don't take it outside that office. Okay? We want to understand that. And then the last thing is other dues assigned. So you might have other tasks to do that day. Your manager might assign you to other duties that day. So you got to be willing to multitask and run the register if your manager assigns you to other tasks. Okay. And then also I want to come in now and talk about job qualifications and the provides and promotes a curious customer service. What do you think you've got a job for, guys? Customer service. And Customer service is number one in our book as working for Aldi. It doesn't matter what retail you work for, Walmart, Target, Aldi, retail. Customer service is key to working for Aldi, and you will learn that as time goes on. Um, ability to operate your cash register efficiently and accurately. So if you're just now getting hired as a full-time store associate, you're not going to be fast on the first job. Um, it takes time, and your managers will understand that, but they say, hey, once you try to do this better, you're you're going to get faster as time goes on. So don't think you're going to have to be fast on register on your first day of, of working for Aldi. Um, ability to perform safety properly operate equipment, including an electrical jack, a floor scrubber, and also a car rebellion. You'll be working those all day as a full-time associate, and you guys got to understand that, that you're going to be working all three of those things every single day of your duties. It doesn't matter if you're opening or closing, you're going to be working all those. Um, ability to perform general cleaning duties and company standards. Like I said, you got to be willing to clean, keep your store clean and neat throughout the day. Um, working the scrubber and mostly the cleaning duties are mainly at closing shifts because you're closing down the store and getting ready for tomorrow morning, for the tomorrow's group, tomorrow morning's group. So understand that as well. Um, ability to interpret and apply company policy and procedures. Like I said, you will understand that time goes on. And then excellent verbal written communication skills. Um, I, there, there's not a lot of writing guys, but the managers do a lot of writing. But as far as a store associate, you guys are going to be mainly verbally communicating to other team members and your management, your direct leader, which is your store manager or the manager in, on charge at that time. So verbal communication is so key, guys. Verbal communication and multitasking is so key and vital to be more efficient and possible because you have a walkie on you and you've got to learn to have your communication skills because communication is so important as working for all you guys. I cannot stress that enough and willing to multitask and have a balance of that. You have to have a balance of multitasking and you guys can understand that as well. Okay. Um, so communication is key. Um, ability to work both independently and with a team environment. Now, there are times where a manager will assign you something independently, like if you're throwing grocery, you're throwing grocery independently. Or if you're throwing um, cooler or produce, you're doing that independently. But there are times where you got to work things as a team, you got to be willing to team lift, or you got to be willing to work as a team as well. So you got to work as a team. And sometimes that's hard, guys. It, it can be overpowering sometimes, depending on your store volume. But 
basically you got to work as a team and get done as a team that's how i think about it and sometimes let's just get done as a team so we can go home or let's get this truck done so we can get ready for the closing crew to come in and they can do whatever they need to do so working as a team is always important as well uh also ability to stay organized okay stay organized in your back room i was telling you guys about stay organized um, and also being willing to multitask in a professional efficient manner. You've got to be willing to multitask. Multitasking is so important for work of quality. So if you're working grocery and you, your manager telling you, hey, you're going to be ringer number two, you're going to be ringer number two. So get over it. And don't don't get mad about that, guys. You guys got to understand. Multitasking is so important and you've got to be willing to be have a balance of that and stuff like that. So be quick and efficient and as efficient as manner. Like, like it says there, be efficient as possible when you do that. And also meet state and local requirements of handling and selling alcohol beverages. So you you will run alcohol. Now, a lot of other stores say management, a store manager has to do that. But no, overall, you're going to probably work alcohol and you might have to run alcohol some days. So don't be shocked if you, your manager puts you on like a independent duty, which is probably running alcohol. And you might have to do that. And then the last thing I want to really talk about is the physical demand of the part of working as Aldi as a full-time store associate and the ability to stock merchandise from stocking receiving to shelving. So when this, what you guys got to understand, you guys don't have to unload the trucks. Um, they have companies that, that Aldi hires to unload the trucks for you and it would be ready by the time you get there and all you have to do is carry it and to receive it and then you take it out you receive that shelf and you grab that pallet electrical jack and you go out and put it on the shelf or you're working cooler or produce whatever you got to be have that physical demand to be able to stock those shelves really efficiently and pilot and neatly as neatly and professionally as possible um be able to place product and weigh up to 45 pounds on the shelf at various heights. 45 pounds is a good number. And I'm not saying product is going to be 45 pounds, but it can lead up to 45, 45 pounds. And you got to be willing to do that, guys. That's why it's so important to have some good energy in you. And vitamin B12 is good. And good energy drinks. And, and probably some good protein, like eggs or something. Before you come in, have some good protein. Because it's going to give you the energy. It's going to give you a good boost. And it's helped build up your muscle throughout the time. So it will be easier to carry things. It won't be as hard to carry 30 pounds if you have to carry 30 pounds. So understand that. Okay? And then regularly, you're going to be required to sit on the register. Stand, bend, reach, push, pull, lift, carry, and walk about the store. That is everyday duty, guys. And you guys got to understand that is so important. And you're going to be doing all that. That is the physical demand, guys. It is not as hard as you think, but some people can't do it. I want you guys to keep in mind to you know your body well. And if you if your body is not physically fit, guys, understand that it takes time. And if your body can do it, then you can do the shop. That's why I tell you guys to really read this job description and only deleted some of it, but these are the main ones that I saw that you guys are going to be mainly doing every single day on a daily basis um, throughout your shift or in other dues assigned to you. And so please understand this job is requires a lot of communication and it also is very multitasking environment. That's how we keep things um, our set our prices down and the less associates we have the less prices will stay down as low as possible depending on the area you live and don't work for your paycheck guys don't work for your paycheck work because you have a purpose and a meaningful life of working for all day and you should be grateful for that and don't work for your paycheck i have not i cannot stress that enough if you're just coming in and work for all day and just want to earn a good paycheck because you get paid good money Good luck with that. You you will not get far with Aldi. I promise you, you will not. But if you're here to work hard and work as a team and work independently and all this stuff, all I just went over to explain to you guys, you're going to be better off than that next person will be. And when the next person comes and gets hired, you can show them how to be better too. So know to work as a team and learn to multitask and work independently in whatever duties your manager has for you that day. So I hope this helps you guys to understand that working for Audi is very physical and it can be very demanding and just understand you can do the job if you have what it takes and you'll move up very quickly and take initiatives. So my name is Casey. I'll see you guys soon. I hope this helps and I'll see you guys soon. Take care.